we will start our webinar in a little after 645. Right now you are viewing the virtual exhibit. Not the most comfortable chair. Hmm? It's not the most comfortable chair. Oh, I did. We will start our webinar a little after 6.45. Right now, you're viewing the virtual exhibit. Thank you for joining us tonight. We will start our webinar in a little after 6.45. Right now, you are viewing work from the virtual recognitions exhibit. In just a few minutes, we will start our webinar. Thank you for joining us. Right now you are viewing work from the virtual recognitions exhibit.
Diana, I think we are ready to get started. Let me just pull up your slideshow. Okay. Just give me one more second. I forgot to get my screen up and running. <laughs> Welcome everyone. We're delighted to have you join us for the Recognition's Virtual Award Ceremony. My name is Diana Woodruff and I'm the Recognition's Committee Chair. This is the fourth annual MAEA Recognition's Juried Exhibit. And this is the first year we've gone virtual. For the three previous years, the exhibit has been on display in the Atrium Gallery at the State Transportation Building in Boston. So our program tonight begins with this introduction, followed by a presentation by MAEA President Melissa Mistrolia, a presentation by Rob Sandagata from Davis Publications, a video by keynote speaker, Dr. James Weilu, entitled The Great Masters as Teenagers. And then we will culminate with a slideshow of the 27 Recognitions Award winners. We're grateful for the gener generous continuing support of Davis Publications, as well as for the support of the Worcester Art Museum, MAEA members, and the kind supporters who requested their donations be anonymous. This exhibit opportunity is open to grade nine to 12 students of MAEA members. This year, there were 146 submissions. 94 of those were juried in. 27 of those 94 received awards. The jury process is a blind process, which means the jury panel saw only the artworks and the artist statements. They didn't see names or schools or any other information. We're grateful to the 2021 jury panel, Dr. Ralph Cohen, Ann Kress, Tim O'Connor, Dr. Christy Oliver, Abby Rivaldi. They carefully and thoughtfully reviewed each of the 146 entries submitted, which actually was quite a bit of volunteer time um, to review all 146 pieces of work. A very special thanks to the Recognitions Committee members, Helen Downey, Kathleen Flynn, Ann Kress, Brenna Johnson, Laura Howick, Connie Moore, Rebecca Costich. All of them worked really hard through countless, and I do mean countless, Zoom meetings to transition recognitions from an in-person exhibit to a virtual format. I'd also like to offer a huge thank you to Melissa Mistrolia, who has been very generous, sharing her expertise and time in supporting us throughout this year's learning process. I'd like to introduce Melissa now in her role as the president of the Massachusetts Art Education Association. Thank you, Diana. Hello, artists, families, friends, art educators, and community members. I'm delighted to help welcome you to the 2021 Massachusetts Amazing Emerging Artists Recognition Exhibit Ceremony on behalf of the Massachusetts Art Education Association Board of Directors. 
Thank you for visiting the virtual exhibit and taking the time to join us tonight. As you heard Diana share, and you can see in my Zoom box, my name is Melissa Mastrolia, and I currently serve as the president of MAEA. When I'm not in the role of president, I teach visual art full-time at an elementary school in Acton. The same is the case for the rest of the MAEA board of directors, committee members, and volunteers. This is a volunteer run organization, which is truly astounding, especially in this current moment in time. Before we start our program, I wanted to share a bit more about MAEA. The mission of MAEA is to advance high quality visual arts education for all by empowering art educators to excel in the practice, instruction, promotion, and celebration of visual art. As a state affiliate of the National Art Education Association, MAEA supports the mission, vision, and core values of NAEA. I am amazed at all of the work that has gone into this virtual exhibit from the high school artists who have worked to create art under such difficult circumstances to the visual art educators who supported their students with so many obstacles to overcome to the committee members who volunteered their time to reimagine how this exhibit would work in a virtual environment. My sincerest thanks to everyone who has worked so hard and tirelessly to continue to support and celebrate the visual arts in Massachusetts. Please join me in a virtual round of applause for everyone who worked so hard to make this virtual exhibit come to fruition. It is serendipitous that today is World Art Day which is an international celebration of the fine arts. To our artists being celebrated tonight on World Art Day, I hope you continue to find your voice and create work that illuminates what is important to you and what we as a society need to pay attention to. To the educators and family members, continue to support the work of these dedicated young artists. I'd like to close by sharing a sentiment from Barack Obama. The future belongs to young people with an education and the imagination to create. I look forward to being part of the future that these young artists will help shape. And now I'd like to turn things over to Rob Sandagata. Rob is the director of digital curriculum and the editor of publications and school arts at Davis Publications in Worcester, Massachusetts. Thank you, Melissa and uh, Diana. Thanks, everyone. Um, yes, yeah, so my name is Rob Sandagata, and as Melissa just said, I'm the director of digital curriculum for Davis Publications, um, and I work as an editor for uh, some of the books that we produce in School Arts Magazine, which is a magazine for art teachers, which, uh, believe it or not, has been around since 1901. So Davis has been supporting teachers really since as long as drawing has been a subject that's been taught in Massachusetts public schools, which is, is really pretty, pretty amazing. And then, uh, you know, all of the teachers and students who are, are here today are part of that, you know, continuum of high quality art making and art education that has uh, been a historical part of the state of Massachusetts, which is pretty great. Um, so before I started working for Davis, I was a high school art teacher for about five years. And I'm also a practicing artist. And you can probably see behind me, uh, I've got uh, my easel on a painting. And um, this is my home live work studio in Lowell where I've been uh, spending most of my time for the past uh, year and a couple of weeks now. Um, and so, you know, a couple of things I wanted to acknowledge just uh, first of all, yeah, I think it's great that uh, MAEA has decided to put this event together. I've been coming for four years to help support what they're doing. Um, student artists never get enough recognition in high school and, and they deserve more. Uh, so I think it's a great thing, but also in a year like this where uh, there's just so many chaotic developments and things have been so unpredictable, the fact that um, all of the teachers who participated and nominated students, whether they won awards or not, took the time to support this process and this award ceremony and to support you, their students, is also a really wonderful thing. So I want to acknowledge all of those teachers as well. And then finally, I just want to acknowledge uh, our high school art students. Um, high school students are incredibly creative and innovative. It's, it's an amazing time 
to be creative and to make art. And I always miss working with uh, my students in the classroom. And one thing I wanna say is, you know, although everyone has been through this very challenging time, I also think that as young people, you're in a really good spot to innovate and, and grow and recognize um, opportunities that maybe are a little bit harder for, for older people to see in, in such a chaotic time. So um, that said, congratulations to all of you and the wonderful artwork that you've submitted. I really enjoyed watching the slideshow and seeing the really uh, awesome variety of work from you know hyper-realistic paintings to uh, sculptures, to digital art and to some of the uh, weird and surreal artwork. And I saw some cartoon influence stuff, which is uh, something that I really love as well. Um, it's just great to see that um, not only are we celebrating artists, but we're celebrating a wide variety of artists from a wide variety of backgrounds who have a lot of different visual interests. And uh, I think that's an important thing to remember. Um, you know, art is a pretty much a resource that, that never runs dry because there's always somewhere new to go or somewhere old to go and rediscover. So uh, that's all I'm gonna say for today. So thank you and congratulations to all of the award winners and nominees. Great, thank you so much, Rob. The last part of this program is a slideshow of the 27 award-winning artworks. We hope that by viewing these works, you will have an even greater appreciation of, the, of these accomplished young artists. Congratulations to the families and to the committed and dedicated art teachers who continue to encourage and support these accomplished young artists. This slideshow highlights the 27 recognitions award-winning artists and their artworks. The first award is the Davis Publications Award for $500. Cupcake Bandit, a drawing by Samantha Keefe, grade 12, received this award. Oliver Ames High School, Northeastern. The art teacher is Kristen Shea. The Hat Sister Award for $250 is entitled Breaking Boards Through Taekwondo. It's a painting by Andrea Ng, grade 12, from Weston High School, and the art teacher is Julie Holm Mandel. This is the Virginia M. Diani Adams Memorial Award, $250. This is a painting entitled Self-Portrait 2 by Beck Pansecker, grade 12, Wayland High School. The art teacher is Veronique Latimer. This is one of the Worcester Art Museum gift certificate winners. Sinaki, a painting by Arabella Cox Stavros, grade 10, from Manchester, Essex, Regional High School, and the art teacher is Tamara Burns. This is another Worcester Art Museum gift certificate award. Empty Glasses is a drawing by Paulina Derevyanko, grade 10, from Medfield High School. The art teacher is Meg Drew. The drawing Gratitude was awarded a Worcester Art Museum gift certificate. The artist is Emily Dion in grade 12. Emily is from Oliver Ames High School in Northeastern, and the art teacher is Kristen Shea. The painting Birds of Paradise and Wishes by Catherine Cheseldine Ackerman won the Blick Art Supplies Gift Card Award for $100. Catherine is a grade 12 student at Rockport High School the art teacher is Zachary O'Brien. A second Blake Art Supplies gift card for $100 was awarded to Athena Parkman for Great Goods. Athena is a grade 12 student at Somerville High School and the art teacher is Jessica Howard. 
This is the first of three Art for All awards for $100 a piece. Lord Ballard is a sculpture by Timothy Friend, grade 12, from Pentucket Regional High School in West Newbury. The art teacher is Marsha Nado. A second Art for All award was given to Delaney Pond for the digital graphic design entitled Kung Fu Tea. Delaney is a grade 11 student at Waltham High School. The art teacher is Kathleen Flynn. Eileen Barrera won an Art for All award for her drawing Cousin. Eileen is a grade 12 student at Waltham High School. The art teacher is Kathleen Flynn. The painting Weeds by Jackie Liu was awarded an MAEA Art Educator Award for $50. Jackie is a grade 12 student from Weston High School. And the art teacher is Julie Holm Mandel. The Drawing Skeleton by Zhuyan Zhang, grade 12 from Waltham High School, won an MAEA Art Educator Award for $50. The art teacher is Kathleen Flynn. Emma Lawson, who is a grade 12 student at Oliver Ames High School in Northeastern, won an MAEA Art Educator Award for the painting Eve and the Apple. The art teacher is Kristen Shea. Emma Paeva won an MAEA Art Educator Award for the photograph Danielle. Emma is a grade 12 student at Fairhaven High School. The art teacher is Christine Neville. The drawing Old Time was awarded an MAEA Art Educator Award also. Maya Bautina is a grade 12 student from Waltham High School and the art teacher is Kathleen Flynn. Kira McCarthy won an MAEA Art Educator Award for the painting The Tempest. Kira is a grade 12 student at Lowell Catholic High School. The art teacher is Heather Bellardo. The digital graphic design entitled Elemental Cosmetics Branding won an MAEA Art Educator Award. The artist is Serena Ning, grade 12, from Weston High School. The art teacher is Kat Sicolo. This is a Davis Publications Media Category Award for Drawing. Chester and Pidge is by Sophie Simmons, a grade 11 student at Wayland High School. The art teacher is Veronique Latimer. The Davis Publications Media Category Award for Painting was given to Aidan Marcus in grade 12 for the work entitled Delivery Truck. Aiden is from Oliver Ames High School, Northeastern. And the art teacher is Kristen Shea. The Davis Publications Media Category Award for Mixed Media is Self Identities by Aiden Grokey, grade 12 student at Marlboro High School. The art teacher is Valerie Sophos. Isabel McKay, a grade 9 student at Wellesley High School, won the Davis Publications Media Category Award for the photograph, Wash and Dry. The art teacher is Doug Johnson. The Davis Publications Media Category Award for Digital Graphic Design went to Balance by Harrison Nguyen, Grade 12, from Groton Dunstable Regional High School, and the art teacher, Rebecca Kostich. Cardinals appear when angels are near, 
has been awarded the Davis Publications Media Category Award for Ceramics. The artist is Malia Jablecki, who's in grade 12 at Falmouth High School, and the art teacher is Corinne Adams. Paper Coil Vessel by Shayla Wynn won the Davis Publication Media Category Award for Sculpture. Shayla is a grade 11 student at Norwood High School. The art teacher is Elizabeth Mullaney. Eva Parker was awarded the Davis Publications Media Category Award in Fashion for the work entitled Red Dress. Eva is a grade 12 student at Manchester Essex Regional High School. The art teacher is Tamara Burns. The winner of the Davis Publications Media Category Award for Printmaking is Beach Fence by Ava Norris, who is a grade 11 student at Falmouth High School. The art teacher is Jane Baker. To view the entire exhibit, visit the web gallery at the MassArtEd.com website. Here you will find all 94 artworks that are included in this exhibit, along with their accompanying artist statements. Under news on the NAEA website, it looks like this. Scroll down to find the links to the web gallery and also to the slideshow. And if you scroll down even further, you will find a place where you can send us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you all for joining us tonight. We're delighted that you were able to be with us to recognize the 2021 MAEA Recognitions Award winners. Congratulations again to everyone with work in the exhibit and to the award winners. Thank you for joining us tonight for this celebration. That concludes our program. We hope you have a lovely evening.